Alrighty, next video here, um, standard 1.2 and question 5. We're starting with uh, it's just one question 5, but A, B, C, D, and E, asking for whether the graphs are even, odd, or neither. And then the key, justify your answer algebraically. You cannot just guess. You cannot just put it in Desmos. Um, I encourage you to do that, um, the, the Desmos part, not the guessing part. Uh, but I do encourage the Desmos to confirm graphically that your answer is correct, but you still have to prove it algebraically. So that's where this video should come in handy. So um, first thing first, 5a, let's graph that. Ah, there's our screen recorder, sorry. Uh, there it is, 3x squared plus 2. Looking at that, that looks like an even function. Remember, even uh, reflects across the y-axis. Um, evenly, there's that, there's that mirror image across the y-axis. So I'm going to say it's even just by looking at that. Um, so I'm going to note even, but how do I prove that algebraically? Well, to prove even, what we do is we replace x's with negative x's, leave everything else alone, and see if we can get back to the original equation. So y equals 3, replace x with negative x squared, leave everything else alone. Here we see that we have a negative x raised to an even power, so we know that that's going to come back, always going to come back positive, so we can rewrite that back to 3x squared plus 2. The plus 2 is still plus 2, the 3 is still 3, and the y is still y. We've just proven even because we've proven that f of negative x, we plugged in negative x, and what we got back in the end was just f of x, the original function. And then I'd say, you know, therefore, even. Okay, so there's, there's A. Let's look at B. B, when we graph that, when we graph that, the first thing I notice is, ooh, it looks really, really close. It could be even, right, because we kind of have this mirror image. The question is, is the mirror image going across the y-axis? And if I look at the x value here, it's negative 2.562. Over here, it's negative or positive 1.562. They're not the same magnitude uh, in opposite sides. So what we have is neither. So our answer, again, we can kind of cheat this and say, I'm just going to use an n for neither. But we have to prove that algebraically. So when we prove neither, what we're really going to have to do is attempt to prove even and show that it didn't work, and then prove, uh, attempt to prove odd and show that that didn't work. So what that means is, to prove even, we're going to do the same thing as we did before, negative x squared. We're just going to replace the x's. And this becomes x squared. This stays negative because it's there's not an even exponent. So plus a negative x is really just minus x minus y squared is 4. That is not the original. x squared is still x squared. Plus x is not plus x. It's minus. So we now have this jumbled up half z, right? We've got kind of right, kind of original, kind of not. So that we, we can pretty much stop there and say f negative x is not equal to f of x. We've just proved that it's not even. Now to prove odd, we're going to do similar. We're going to replace negative x plus negative x again. But to prove odd, we replace both x's and y. And then we simplify again, we say x squared. So that comes back positive, this comes back negative. This comes back to the original minus y squared like it was before, equals 4. So again, x squared is still x squared, but positive x is still changing to negative x. So again, we are proving f of negative x is not equal to negative Sorry, that looks kind of messy, but if you look back at the notes, 
we're trying to prove that f of negative x equals f of x for even, or we're proving that f of negative x is equal to negative f of x um, if it's odd. So we have just proven neither because neither of those cases turned out an answer. Okay, on to C. C, we're going to look at that one graphically. That one on. Ah, let's just do a couple of quick point checks. Um, first of all, we, we see that 0, 0 is a nice, looks like it matches um, evenly through that curve. This was negative 1.414. This is positive 1414. If you look at the XY here compared to the XY here, magnitude uh, the same signs might be opposites. But um, what that means is if we were to rotate this, 180 degrees, we get the same. So we are looking at an odd function. So we can kind of cheat that again. And we're going to say odd up here. And we're going to prove that by saying um, we're going to plug in f of negative x. Because we had an f of x, not a y, um, I, I can do this both ways. Um, I'll do this one where we plug f of negative x in and see what happens. And what's happening is we get negative 2x cubed. Because it's an odd exponent, we get to keep that negative. And the same thing here, negative 4 times negative x becomes plus 4x. If I were to, as they say, pull the negative out, if I were to factor out a negative 1, what that looks like is negative 2x cubed minus 4x. So if you look at that carefully, on the inside, I have the original 2x cubed minus 4x. But there's a negative out front. So what we've really just proved is that if I plug in a negative x, so f of negative x, really what I got back was the opposite of the original function. Right? So the the f of x is right here, and we have a negative sign here, a negative sign here. So we have just then proven, therefore, odd by doing that. Um, I'm, I'm not going to worry about e, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a second here and, and show this. If this would have said uh, y equals 2x cubed minus 4 x. If the function had been given to you not as f of x but as y equals, um, the way we do this is we replace both x's and y's. If we're proving odd, we replace everything. So negative y equals 2 negative x cubed minus 4 negative x. So I just did that real quick because what we've proven is that the x's and the y's, everything, uh, like if you, if you look at that, that negative y, that's the same as saying negative f of x. Okay, and over here, this is this is plugging in f of negative x here. So we, we still get that idea of f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. So it doesn't matter if they give you a y and instead of an f of x, you would do the same thing where you replace the x's with negative x's. You would just also replace the y with negative y. And as long as every single sign changed, the y signs changed, the x signs changed, everything changed, then you're odd. Oh uh, boy, we're at nine minutes. Um, let me look at D. D is a neither, um, so maybe uh, I hate to do this, but um, I'm I'm going to show you at least graphically that uh, D is neither, and the reason is graphically you can see that 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 reflection point is not in the middle of the curve. Uh, otherwise, you can look at the x y coordinates here, and you try to match them here. They're they're not the same, right? They're they're very much different. 
So we know graphically this is odd, or not odd. We, we thought it might be because it's kind of got that um, cubic function going, but it's not. So um, we're going to say that that's neither. So I'm going to shortcut that. We're going to say it's neither. Um, graphically, I can just tell you, um, algebraically, sorry, that when we say 2 negative x cubed, that's going to come back as negative 2x cubed. But then the minus 3 negative x squared... That's just going to come back as minus 3x squared because this negative uh, right here, that negative cancels out, right? So what we're going to see is our 2x cubed flipped to negative 2x cubed, but our minus 3x squared stayed minus 3x squared. So just this alone, proving that one sign changed and one didn't, you can pretty much stop right there and say, hey, look, um, I did not get the entire equation to flip or the entire equation to stay the same. So as soon as we mix, we can say that it's neither. All right, 11 minutes, that's all enough. That is um, all we're gonna get through is one problem, but it was really five problems. By the way, um, E, I, I'm not even gonna touch E. E, all I'm gonna say is when you graph E, what it is, is an oval. So if you were to reflect it across the y-axis, yeah, sure, it's got symmetry. If you were to flip this thing 180 degrees, yeah, you also have symmetry. So the unique case where you have x squared, y squared equals a number, that's the equation for an oval, an ellipse, uh, or a circle if they have the same coefficient, right? So like if I said, hey, two, now it's a circle. Um, but anyways, that's, that's why there's that stupid little ooh at the end is um, this would actually be a both case and on the test we do not have a question like that so there it is question five we're good to go